Hi everyone, this is Marianne and thanks for deciding to watch this video. In my previous vlog, I mentioned that I was in Metro Manila recently and I showed this bag that this kitty tried to inspect. It's a very large slouchy tote and it can carry a whole lot and I enjoy using it on super busy days in Metro Manila when I am not supposed to bring my laptop but I'm nevertheless still required to carry an assortment of many different things. When you have to be out and about for an entire day in Metro Manila, you usually have to carry around a lot of things just to survive. This bag does not have a brand. I purchased this from a small stall somewhere in San Juan. I think it was last year. This was not expensive at all but I bought it because it was a tote and it was humongous and it looked sturdy enough. The front of the bag has this nice patchwork detail and it has a pebbly finish that I like. It is very soft and it has a semi-rigid floor with five metal feet which helps in well keeping the bag a little bit in shape and I like how the handles are stitched onto the body of the bag. They don't look like they are going to break at all. The handles themselves look extremely sturdy too and this is actually very comfortable to carry around. This bag has a metal clasp on both ends that I can attach to this metal ring right here if I don't like the bag itself to look too rectangular. Attaching the clasp to the ring sort of creates a more curved top line to the bag which I like a lot better because I the bag is too big I didn't want it to look too boxy and it also has an extra set of rings for a shoulder strap that it came with which I still have but never use. So I'm no longer in Metro Manila I'm back home now so now let us unpack this bag and see what's inside. First, I have this big envelope right here where I have all of my current medical records related to my broken wrist plus new medical information from my gynecologist who I consulted in Metro Manila. Then I have this small pack of tissues and a small pouch containing lotion, hand sanitizer, my perfume atomizer, the new microfiber eyeglass cleaning cloth that I bought but actually do not like, and a tube of Carmex lip balm. I used to have feminine wipes on here but I have used them all up while I was in Metro Manila and I also have a maxi pad in there. I have attached a rubber band to this pouch so I can hang it over the hook or the knob of a bathroom stall. Next, I have my Fino organizer that I use to carry all of my cards, as you can see, and then this book that I'm rereading for my thesis. By the way, I always attach a ribbon to my books like so, so that I will always have a bookmark with each book that never falls out when the book gets jostled around inside my bags. I have been doing this for almost 20 years. Next, I have a sleep mask made of memory foam that I keep in this old Ziploc bag. I only ever bring the sleep mask when I am traveling. Then I have this folding umbrella and then my battery pack, my lightning cable, and my iPhone charger. And then I just have my school ID and this clip light for reading that I have already reviewed on my channel. I will link it down below. Then there is also this super old folding fan that has been with me for about five years, I think. It has gotten damaged already from use and old age. Here I have another pouch which has a carrying case for my two earbuds. The first pair of earbuds is the one that came with my iPhone 7. It has the lightning jack and the second pair is the one that came with my previous iPhone, the 5S that came with a regular 3.5 millimeter audio jack which I use when recording voiceovers for my YouTube videos. Also in the same pouch is this measuring tape and my business card case. Next, I have this eyeglass case that came with my existing glasses and the cleaning cloth that came with it. It is not my curve fiber and I do not like it but I keep it here because it came with the case. And then there is a used tissue. Ew. And in one of the pockets right here, I have this um, I actual microfiber cloth that came from Ideal Vision. I found this inside one of my older eyeglass cases and decided to use it and I like this so much. 
in another pocket right here is my key card for my dorm and the small zippered pocket right here functions as my wallet while my right hand isn't 100% back to normal yet it's just easier to access cash quickly this way without having to fumble around with a wallet using two hands I also have this fat LED flashlight attached to a zipper pull but I think it needs a new battery in this larger zippered pocket I have my medication I have a video about my pill organization kit which I will link down below and the back of the bag also has a zippered pocket and in it I just have my Wacom bamboo pen that I use for digital planning on my phone I will link the unboxing of this pen down below and I also place my phone inside this same pocket and there is nothing more in here now that the bag is empty let's take some measurements to quantify how big this bag really is it is 20 inches wide 14 inches tall and the handle drop is about 7 inches it's not a very long handle drop for a tote but because this bag is so humongous I find this a perfect handle drop for this bag now in the dorm I found this bag it's a satchel from Fino a local leather goods brand the same company that made my black crocodile print organizer that I used for my cards that you saw earlier I purchased this satchel in 2010 shortly after I purchased my 11 inch MacBook Air the purpose of this bag was to be the bag to carry my much smaller Air I was coming from a 15 inch MacBook Pro at that time so I didn't have any smaller bags and I wanted to enjoy having a smaller bag as an everyday carry for a change this is not a laptop bag but what I did was I placed my air inside a padded pouch and simply placed that inside this one and it fit perfectly together with all of my stuff for planning I was still on the pocket sized daily moleskin planner and all I used with it was a mechanical pencil that seems like a lifetime ago anyway this bag is made of Italian leather and as you can see it's not so big it is only 13 inches wide 10 inches tall and the handle drop is about eight and a half inches this bag has been in storage for years and it smelled so musty already when I found it that I felt quite bad for it so I decided to bring it home and put it to use and give it some love and see if I can actually use this as a work bag once I return to work very soon maybe it will be good for me to use this reasonably smaller satchel as an everyday carry plus a separate laptop bag for my 15 inch MacBook Pro and this satchel has a reasonable amount of pockets inside as you can see which I can put to good use so yeah okay let's try to pack this bag now the first thing I need to bring around is of course my loose cash which I can place in this pocket right here for easy access and then this book which like I mentioned before I am rereading for my thesis and then my Fino organizer for my cards next would be the microfiber eyeglass cleaning cloth that I can place in one of the external pockets for easy access and then in another one of the internal pockets I placed my lip balm my perfume atomizer my hand sanitizer and hand lotion plus a maxi pad next I have this semi-transparent sticky note that is made of a very thin plastic and a very fine marker that I can use to write on it I need this when I'm annotating the book that I am rereading for my thesis and then I have my medication for the day and for good measure I decided to pack the bandage and gel that I used during my physical therapy you saw this in my previous what's in my bag video just to see if they all fit with everything else just in case my doctors decide to make me undergo even more physical therapy and then of course there is my battery pack and lightning cable and of course I will never leave home without my trusty measuring tape which I switched pockets with with the microfiber eyeglass cleaning cloth because the other pocket has a strap that is easier to open and close for some reason and then I still packed my super old rosary out of a 30 year old habit and my business card case and I also ended up packing my clip light for reading that you can see sitting outside of the bag because I remembered that sometimes when I am in Jawaid's place and he's in the kitchen cooking I stay inside his bedroom to read and the overhead light he has in his bedroom is too harsh for my eyes so I need the clip light and well 
that is it. That is what's in my satchel for now. I will let you know how this is working out as I go along. Thanks for watching. Bye.